Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the RSIM simulator tutorial. If you have not watched the first video, please go ahead and do so because in that video I'll explain how you can configure and prepare your system to use the RSIM. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, in this video we're going to have the first example test case to run using Darsim and then we will visualize the result using a visualization software called Paraview. So the first step I want you to do is to go to your web browser and go to the GitLab repository of the examples inside uh, Darsim and that's how it is written gitlab.com Darsim examples. When you go there Inside Interpol multi-scale course directory, there is another folder called homogeneous two-phase flow. I want you to download these two text files. You can download them using the download uh, button and then download this directory zip and then you can unzip it. I have already downloaded them and put them in a folder. This can be anywhere in your system and can be named anything you want. Now, the first file immiscible txt can be named anything you want the name is not important this file contains the input parameters such as the geometry discretization method uh, fluid and rock properties well configuration initializations and these sort of uh, parameters this file simulator settings.txt has the main configurations such as the uh, the size of the time step uh, the type of the report, coupling strategy, um, the, the, uh, the settings of the linear solver, and these technical configurations. Please make sure that the name of this file stays simulatorsettings.txt, but you can change the name of the other one the way that you want. Now, the next step is to go to your MATLAB, be on the SRC folder of Darsim, and we're going to use the main function of Darsim called Darsim ResSim. The way that you call it is Darsim ResSim. Pay attention to the small and capital letters. And we have to give two string as input arguments inside these quotations to Darsim ResSim function. The first one is the path of the folder where these input files exist inside it. So you copy and paste the path. This should be the full path, by the way. The second argument string is the full name, including first the, the name and the extension of the, of the main simulation input file, the one that you can change the name, whatever you want. And you put it here. Now, in order to run it, we just have to press enter. Before I do so, I'm gonna explain to you what this test case example is. This is just a 2D simple domain, homogeneous, I have an injection well in the bottom left corner with a pressure of 500 bar and I have a production well in the top right corner with the pressure of 100 bar. This is a 100 by 100 meter square. I am discretizing the system into 136 by 136. The simulator will run for 500 simulation days and every five days you will have the result printed out for you. So in total, 100 results. Now, I hit the the enter button and then the simulator starts running every time a step there are iterations after convergence happens it goes to the next time step i will explain in details later what these uh, data and information mean actually but i'm going to pause the video till the simulation runs and then i'll get back to you and i'll explain how you can visualize the result okay now that the simulation is finished we go back to the folder we see there is an output directory created if you go inside it, you see a bunch of TXT files that are reports of some information from the result of the simulation. It's not important for us right now. We go to the VTK folder and we see that there are many VTK files, each for one of the reports of every five days, if you remember. The first one is the initial value and you have 100 VTK files for all the 500 days of simulation. Now, we need to be able to visualize this using the software called Paravi. So I want you to go to the paraview.org website, go to the download section, and for your operating system, ah, first, I will recommend that you download the version 5.8 at the time of the recording of this video. This is the most stable version. 
for your own operating system choose the option the corresponding option for windows please go and download 5.8.0 windows python 3.7 executable file the installation is pretty straightforward it's just next 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 and it's done now i have downloaded it and i want you to open it so go and find the icon in your system uh, wherever it is the icon of the software that you just installed paraview this is the icon when you open it this is how it looks now there are many tutorial videos that i recommend you to go and watch in youtube to get familiarized with the interface and the usage of this software in this video i will just explain to you how you can open and visualize the result of the rsync in order to do that go to the open folder uh, icon and then go to the path of the output directory that we just saw for me this is the path of that output directory now once you go there please choose go to the vtk and please choose all the vtk files that are grouped into one name the immiscible reservoir.vtk so you choose that press ok and press apply you can see your 2d domain so there are a bunch of layers that you can choose it's surface surface with edges wireframe many other options you can scroll down and zoom a bit further we want to choose surface this time there are many parameters that are printed out as the result in this video we're going to focus on p1 the pressure and s1 the saturation of phase one so choose p1 and then make sure that you click on this button this button rescales the color map across all the time set because right now you see that the pressure is just one value 200 bar to 200 bar this is not what we want if you press this open uh, this button and then rescale and disable automatic rescaling you see that the color map range changes from 100 bar to 500 bar this is the initial state what you see here time step zero with this button you can move to time step one time step two time step three and you see the solution of the pressure for the corresponding report or time step you can also press the play button it animates goes through this time step all the way to the final report or time step you can see that the pressure is changing not much actually but this is how you can animate your result now go back to the initial state using using this button and choose s1 this time saturation of phase one again make sure that you press this button to rescale and disable the automatic rescaling of your saturation color map you can see now it's changed from zero to one you can press the play button and you see that the saturation map and front is propagating dynamically from the injection well all the way to production well across these 500 days this is what i wanted to show you in the other videos i will explain how you can visualize different test cases and more details will follow soon thank you for watching this video